Anger Management Let us look at how to use your anger. Why do we become angry? Anger means a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure, or hostility. This feeling overtakes us when we do not achieve something that we expected to achieve. We expect a colleague to complete a certain work, and when it does not happen, we feel annoyed, and then we get angry. A project gets delayed beyond the target date, and a strong sense of displeasure sets in, and then we get angry. When someone shouts at us, and expresses his displeasure, we feel hostile towards that person, and then we get angry. When our team member is not able to get a work done, we feel annoyed, and then we feel angry. Angry Amar Amar, is the engineering head of the company. Amar has very high standards of work. He works very hard to meet his own expectations. Whenever, he is not able to meet his own expectations, he gets angry. Many times Amar's colleagues, can see him shouting at himself, and getting very angry with himself. Amar also expects very high standards of work from his colleagues. If they are not able to meet up his standards, he gets angry with them. Sometimes, he gets angry with himself, that he is not able to train them to the required standards. This way Amar's anger, is not just aimed at others, it is aimed at himself too. If the results are not as per his expectations, he does not spare even himself. Amar's colleagues, are suffering his anger. But they know, that even Amar himself is suffering. Sanu the perfect VP? Sanu, is the VP operations of the company. He expects his team members to perform, and achieve 100% of the goals. Sanu, does not apply these standards to himself. He comes late to the work. Does not meet the time targets set by the customers. But when it comes to his team members, his expectations go up. He lectures them, that targets have to be achieved 100%. He keeps shouting at his team members for better results. He gets angry with them at the drop of a hat. His team does not see seriousness in him, and hence his word does not have a power. Sanu, keeps telling his MD, that his team simply does not have high standards, and he is finding it difficult to push their standards up. What is the difference? What is the difference between Amar and Sanu? Both keep getting angry. Amar is naturally pushing himself a lot, and he gets angry with himself, and with his team too. Sanu's anger, is more strategic. He does not apply the standards to himself. But he applies the standards to others. In case of Amar, even though the team members suffer due to his anger, they may accept his proddings, as he expects the high standards from himself too. Still, the anger is not a good strategy. Amar seems to be making his body suffer. In case of Sanu, he is having high expectations only from others. He is not setting up a good example. Hence, his team members may not take him very seriously. There is no conviction in Sanu's actions. Anger can be used well. Sundar, is the VP operations of the company. He is a very balanced person. He expects his team members to work hard, and achieve the goals. He himself works hard. His high expectations makes him to drive his team hard. Whenever his team members do not achieve something, he talks to them and helps them to reach the goals. He talks assertively. He does not get aggressive. When a target, is not achieved, Sundar takes it up seriously. But does not waste his energy in anger. He uses that energy to assertively handle the situation. He tries to manage the situation as a win-win. He does not shout at his team members, and make it a, I win you lose, type of situation. This is a much better way of using the energy, that comes with being angry, or being concerned about a result. Aggressive and assertive. These are the two behavioral styles. Someone can respond aggressively, when a result is not achieved or an expectation is not fulfilled. When a person responds aggressively, he is looking to win irrespective of what happens to the other person. This is a selfish approach. The other person, will definitely respond defensively. One can respond assertively, when an expectation is not met. 
Such a person will address the situation and take action that is needed without getting personal with the people involved. He will not focus on the people involved. But he will focus on the actions that are needed to make the work move. He will try and ensure that there is a win-win situation. He will appeal to the achievement orientation of the persons involved and try to show them a victory in completing the work in time and as per expectations. Anger affects your body. When you get angry, there is a tremendous amount of energy that is generated. Quantum of energy will depend on whether you are just angry in a simple manner or you are experiencing a rage. This energy will affect your body somewhere. People who are angry will experience a pain in some part of the body. It can be a headache, a stomach ache or even worse, a heart ache. The energy can hit one of these body parts. There are many people who get migraine headache when they get angry. The migraine becomes a permanent problem for them. Some others get a stomach pain when they get angry. These people may develop a tumor in their stomach after a few years. Some others get very tired after the bout of anger and these people may get a heart stroke after persistent bouts of anger. This way, anger will definitely will have an effect on your body. Many people may not even notice this effect on the body. They may simply keep having this anger problem for years and not realize its effect. Why should you manage your anger? The physical damage that anger is creating on your body is one simple reason why you should manage your anger. In addition to this, uncontrolled anger will have following bad effects. Your relationships with your colleagues will get affected badly. No one would like to be on your team. Your projects will not get done on time in the medium term. Your team members may respond to your anger in the short term. But in the medium term, good people will go away from your team. Then, your projects keep getting affected due to the absence of good people in your team. You will become a problem to your boss. Even if you are a wonderful performer, no boss would like to have a person who is aggressive and upsetting the team members continuously. It is not uncommon to see good executives being removed from senior positions as they are not able to control their anger. With this, your boss will not think of promoting you and he may even ask you to go if you are not solving the problem. If you are dealing with the customers, then customers also may start getting affected due to your anger problem. Your company may start losing business due to your anger problem. So, you will have to address the anger management issue sooner than later.